All right, welcome back. Um, yeah. Let's continue where we left it off. Yeah, uh, we'll I, think, I, I think it's only fitting. Let's continue. We still have Chuka Mama yeah. on the line. And we're, though we're pressed for time, but we have to do this because we have to talk about the ladies as well. Uh, if you can hear me, let's quickly do this quickly and, and talk about um, Angelic Keba. I mean, a remarkable 2016 for her. And the question on everyone's lips is, can she continue to be dominant? Will this continue uh, for some few years? Well, again, with Kaba, uh, her strength appears to be in the quality of her mind, a solid psychological state of mind. Uh, no particularly a, a great big shot, but she runs at everything. She's uh, quite fit. Uh, well, she, she will win her own share uh, of matches. I, I would be surprised if she becomes such a dominant champion like Serena, who... Although uh, Serena could still win some matches, but uh, clearly he's, she's fast becoming a lioness in the winter of her days. Uh, well, Keba, always the comparisons to Steffi Graf. Uh, um, as for Steffi, I feel that uh, many of her titles were tainted after uh, she had been dominated by Sellers, who had to withdraw from, from, from the game when a fan of Steffi's uh, stabbed her. And she won so many of those titles. For all the noise made about Steffi and uh, how many 22 Grand Slams, the Golden Slams and all that. Uh, but again, Mark Twain with statistics. Uh, you know, but uh, Keba is not particularly young. I think she's about 28 years or something. Uh, but she's, uh, she's delightful on the court. She has a good psychological makeup and approach to the game. And uh, she will, I don't expect that she will be a dominant champion but she will win her own share of titles. Uh, thank you so much for, for your perspective, for your time out. It was always um, a pleasure uh, talking uh, with you. That was uh, Chuka Mama, uh, veteran sports journalist, veteran sports uh, broadcaster, giving us his perspective to the last Grand Slam of the year, the U.S. Open. Uh, where do we go next, Aya? Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll come back, obviously. There's still a lot more to mm -hmm, talk about. Mm -hmm, Amazing mm -hmm. weekend of sports. All right, Aya. Um, yeah. There's a lot to talk about. So we just go from there. We just go with the flow. Mm -hmm, uh, Paralympics, mm -hmm. uh, day four, yeah. and it was medals uh, rush uh, it, for it, Nigeria. Can, go, yeah, I mean, a lot of names that we should write down. Uh, mm -hmm. ev everyone that has represented Team Nigeria has, has done so well. Yeah. Those who have not won medal have gone close yes. uh, to, to uh, medal range. But, uh, but at, as at last night, it was uh, four for Nigeria. Incredible you see, stuff. Um, AGK. I mean, yeah, she Dido's, yeah. Dido's proud, uh, mm -hmm. and, and she, in powerlifting, uh, you, you said it as well, that's where most of our medals uh, will, will come, come from. from. Yeah, uh, no surprises at all. Uh, I mean, uh, prior to yesterday's um, event, I was just saying the three, uh, four medals uh, for Nigeria, but yesterday alone on Sunday, we had three, uh, like I said, team captain, Lucy AGK mm -hmm, won mm -hmm. powerlifting gold in the women's uh, 61 kg class, you know, and she broke the Paralympic and world record three times in the process, dominating the rest of the field. So uh, I'll talk about uh, Lucy right there. And now the innocence as well to one powerlifting bronze mm -hmm. in the 72 kg uh, event. Uh, and um, Lorita Onye, she was the only track and field athlete in action on Sunday for Team Nigeria. And uh, she won shot put Th That's where the surprise is. In the yeah, in the F40 final class. Because she we, broke thought, the record we as thought well everything too. was going to come yeah. from powerlifting. You know, some of, some of our athletes too. Uh, we, I mean, we didn't put much into it, but I knew powerlifting was going to be a clean sweep. Yeah. Um, Tony Lokwetai was expected to be in action. Um, it's, uh, it's, the event has been rescheduled, but hopefully uh, we'll see action to, today. So we'll see how all of that pans out. But it's been very interesting, yes. uh, inspiring yes. uh, performance. Um, Nigeria in 12th uh, position on, on, on the table. Amazing. Uh, let's really <laughs> look at it. Uh, top Three, you have the you have China, China yeah. uh, Great Britain and Ireland. We have Ukraine, uh, United States, and Brazil, mm -hmm. and Uzbekistan too in sixth position. So that's that's the medal haul so far for for China. 39, 30, 23, that's gold, silver, bronze, with a total of 92. Um, that's it for you. No surprises. <laughs> uh, nations with big landmass tend to do well at the Olympics because they have a lot of people 
um, yeah. to, to represent What about them. Nigeria? Nigeria has got a lot of people as well, too. I mean, uh, you can easily compare. not doing compare. badly. Yeah, not doing badly. It's off on the table. Uh, like I said, China, they're running away with this one. I mean, the gap is just immense. 92 second place and uh, Great Britain, uh, 56 medals in total. Yeah. Uh, Ukraine, 49 medals in total. Nigeria in 12. And, and if you want to talk about... If you want to seven talk about, medals in yeah. total. Awesome. 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 For Team I mean, Nigeria. If you want to consider how, you know, the conditions in which these guys actually are uh, prepared uh, oh, for it the is, games. It's sad to say. Yeah. But some people will tell you that even this special athletes thrive. It's not that we should no, put them in nah, that situation. No. But what you call bad preparation is what they are used to and they come out and they do so well. Yeah, and but with good pre preparation, be they better. can do a lot better. Yeah. That's the point. Instead of and that's what we should, you know, be focusing on, on not it, focusing it will, on... We won't be in uh, a situation where we'll have to reduce... Bad yeah, where we'll have to reduce our the, contingents the, yeah, the because sports, we're not sure of the exactly. quality of preparation and all that. But, but let, let me tell you, this is heartwarming um, for me. Let me tell you, we are above South Africa, we are above Algeria, we are above Egypt, Morocco and Kenya. We are the best placed African um, representative on the medal table were in 12th position, South Africa 16, Algeria uh, has won the most medals, but they're in the 29th position, one gold, four silver, four bronze makes it nine. Gold, more gold gold weighs more than silver and bronze. That's why we're where we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we are where we are. Yeah, so uh, um, yeah, I mean, I mean before the competition ends, I uh, we expect uh, more medals uh, yes. uh, from uh, Team Nigeria and um, yeah. That's, uh, what more can we say? It's just incredible, uh, inspiring stuff. And I'm hoping at this stage the yeah. government will be thinking of a befitting reception. Surely. Cash prizes, Surely. other forms of yeah. reward for these guys. Even if it stops here. I know it's not going to stop here. Let's, but even if it stops yeah. here, I think we should already be working on something for these guys against the hordes. They go into every tournament against the odds yeah. and the surprises. So, uh, I think, you know, we should do something. But let's bring you to everything that we're doing. Uh, let's get your thoughts, your views, your opinion. Uh, and probably there's something you want us to talk about that we've not touched yet. You can do that now. Get your views and your thoughts across to us with what you're going to see on the screen shortly. You can do that via Facebook and on Twitter. We've told you that our Twitter handle is verified. So on Facebook, you can get across to us yeah. in these channels. Honestly, sports. I, iPhone Sports. And on Twitter, it is um, channels underscore sports. That's it on your screen. Facebook channels, iPhone Sports. Twitter, you know, the verified handle, it is channels underscore sports. You can also send us a mail um, in case that's your thing, in case you like that. Uh, sports this morning at channels tv.com uh, is where you send that mail to. Uh, we will also um, react to it and um, let the whole world know how you feel about all of these things uh, that we've talked about. Yeah. All right, let's throw in uh, something. Yeah, from the Paralympics, yeah, we, I mean, like I said um, at the start of the show, it was a great uh, sporting uh, weekend for mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. a lot of um, Nigerians out there because apart from the Paralympians doing well uh, for the country in Brazil in Rio, uh, we also have the under-19 cricket team in Cape Town, South Africa, you know, doing well. They're there, they're trying to qualify uh, for the under-19 uh, Cricket World Cup. And over the weekend, you know, they won their second game uh, where they beat Rwanda by 245 runs. And uh, that's the second uh, win of the competition. So, um, Yemi... I mean, cricket, cricket, so that's one of those sports as well, too. We don't you know, pay that attention. Has, yeah, we don't, but we should because it's a, it's a sport that is quite, that used to be very, very popular, you know, in schools and back in the days. Pre-independence, exactly. a little after the so, years, after independence. And it's always good when you have unheralded teams go out and do us proud. We know that they're going to face Syria alone uh, tomorrow. They've done well for themselves so far. Yeah. We hope that, you know, we, we continue. if we're serious about becoming a multi-sport nation, this mm -hmm. is the way to go. Yes. And, you know, look, we, that's, there are still some schools here in Nigeria that have the basics, that know the basics. So, you know, probably have a cricket league among mm -hmm. secondary schools. Because I realize all of these sports, you need to start early. Yes. You need to start early, stimulate interest. Not just for the guys, even for the journalists. A lot of us need to be educated. You know, and, and that is how we can help the sports grow uh, you know fancy talking about cricket and you don't even know how yes. the points are scored uh the position of a player uh on the field all of these things then how do you explain it to a would-be cricket lover you know all of these things work together and that's what i think we should 
I'll be doing at this point so that the game can grow uh, in Nigeria. The, the, the administrators should go beyond, you know, trying to create competitions, also stimulate so so interest. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, in this particular game um, against uh, Rwanda, Nigeria lost the toss, and so they had to bat. Mm -hmm. uh, but the guys, you know, make good use of his current two uh, seven eight um, slash three in fifty overs in the first, first innings. innings. Yeah. So uh, they play their third game against Sierra Leone today. So hopefully they can sustain uh, the winning uh, momentum. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're in Division Two now, so they're trying to get to Division Step One. Up. Exactly. So um, against Sierra Leone. Like I said, hopefully they can sustain the momentum and get a win in that one as well too. And uh, who knows uh, where they'll end up in the competition. And when I'm looking at competitions like this, South Africa is always my benchmark in Africa. And if, if, you, can do, if you can outdo South Africa, then you, you get global recognition. I'm very sure the sporting world doesn't even know that Nigeria plays cricket. <laughs> and the only way they'll know is if you grab the headlines by winning tournaments like this, by stepping up. Maybe at senior level, it might be a little bit difficult for now. But like the president said a while ago, years and years and years of all of these efforts will ensure yeah. that um, you know, we get to the top. Yeah, hopefully we get to the top. And yeah, I mean, let's move on now. Mm -hmm. uh, Football, incredible. We saw the Manchester derby yep. over the weekend. Very interesting game, uh, uh, to say the least. Uh, but we also had games in other leagues as well, mm -hmm. too. The German Bundesliga yep. is on. Uh, we saw Bayern against Schalke. Very, very tight game. And um, uh, let's just go and see uh, what, what happened in that game uh, between uh, Bayern Munich and Schalke 04, as well as um, Borussia Dortmund. Uh, they were in action as well. <laughs> 